so yesterday I shared a video showing how to use Smartify nodes in EVNext in Blender 4.1 alpha. But the issue is that it's still very much an alpha and uh, pretty heavy and unstable. So what we can do right now in 3.6 is actually to use um, parallax mapping in Smartify nodes to achieve a similar result where it feels like the height texture actually displaces the mesh. But it's actually a flat plane. It could even be a single polygon, but here I'm using a little bit of geometry to paint some vertex colors. But here we can see it's a very low poly, but we'll still have the impression that there is some height, some displacement can even increase the strength. So basically I started from one of the metal smart materials here in the library, the sci-fi plates and moss, and I've just replaced the moss texture set by this uh, alien growth one, and I've replaced the UV mapping by a parallax master, so I can rename it. So to do that you simply have to go to this E category, be sure you're in append because these nodes you want to add them as unique uh, instances instead of reusing a node group that's already present in this Blender file. So in append, it will create a new unique instance of this node. So you see there is no number. And then once you did that, you can enter your texture set and simply copy the height texture, and then enter the parallax node. And to the right of this node, you'll see this red node where you can paste your high texture and then simply connect it again. So doing this for the two texture sets, we now have some fake displacement on these two texture sets. So it's using the UVs, so we can move the UVs around if we want. And here in this smart material, I have these two texture sets plugged in the texture mixer and as mask, I have a mask mixer with a facing mask, a ambient occlusion mask, and a color attribute as bent override. So the base mask is the facing, meaning the effect will only happen on the, the faces that uh, face upward. But as I also have some ambient occlusion, the effect also happens when meshes are close together. And the third uh, element to this uh, smart mask are the vertex colors so in black it forces the smart effect to be black so to display the first texture in mid gray it leaves the smart effect do his job so combining the ambient occlusion and the facing and in white it will start to force the smart effects to happen no matter the the different smart masks so this paint override is actually overriding when you paint with the the extreme value so black and white Black will, black will kill the mask and white will force the mask. And if you want the masks to, the smart masks to just do their job, you can paint in gray and you will see the, any smart mask um, appear again, like the, the occlusion or the facing here. I'm painting in gray, so it leaves the facing display the second texture here on the top. And in black, it erases it. And I can see the, the second texture set appearing in the cracks of the first one because of the texture mixer that uh, has this height blend. So the two texture sets actually blend depending on their height. The height is compared between the two texture sets. So I can also play with the, the settings. Obviously the power of the, the height will make the texture set blends more or less. And I can control the sharpness of the blend. And I've also added a, a brightness and contrast to the height of the second texture set to reduce its, its contrast because by default it was looking like this. So a very contrasted height. So the, the brightest points, the highest point of the this alien growth were appearing way before the, the darker points. So by reducing the contrast, the texture appears more flat. And something I did to the metal texture is adding some more noise to the roughness because by default it looked like this. And with the Noiseify node, simply dragged on the roughness 
connection. I can increase the noise. And by default, it just adds a procedural noise like this, but I can also input and blend in uh, image texture noise, so a noise that's a bit more artistic than the procedural one. Here it's the Dusty 02 that has some kind of brush strokes. So it creates this uh, this more artistic look with kind of yeah brush strokes in the roughness. And I can still keep a little bit of the procedural noise to have some fine detail, adding the, the roughness pretty high and the, the scale high enough to add these, these little dots. Then playing with the brightness, it gives this. So yeah, this is how we can create this uh, displacement effect uh, in EV in any Blender version, but mostly it's a very performant effect, so it runs much uh, more fluidly than any displacement, because all this is uh, low polygon meshes, and we still have some high frequency visual displacement. Here I can play with the smear to just move the vertex color around. And you can see it feels like it's blending naturally with the, the height of the two texture sets. And of course I can change any parameter, like the specular, the roughness. And of course I can also switch to cycles and everything looks pretty similar. And it's still very light because there is only 30,000 polygons here, but I, I could even reduce it to a few dozens if I use the image texture for the paint override instead of uh, vertex colors. So yeah, here playing with light in cycles and then switching to EV. So yeah, basically that's it. Thanks for watching.